What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. I want to hit y'all with something today. Um, sitting on my, sitting on my spirit. Um, cause a lot of y'all need to hear this. Um, one of the key components to success, in my opinion, I'm not an expert, but in my opinion, one of the major components to success is confidence. And I'm not in front of a dictionary right now, but if I was asked, I would define confidence as strong belief in oneself that you can accomplish something. You just have a strong belief, a will about yourself, like, I can get it done. And the reason why I say I think that's one of the key components to success is because how can you be successful if you don't even think that you can? So confidence has to come into play. And sometimes people are born with it. People just naturally exude confidence. They just, some people are just born with it, where even at an early age you can see that, that boy, that got a lot of confidence in itself. And other times, confidence has to be um, developed and revealed. It has to kind of show itself over time based on successful endeavors. Sometimes people don't have the confidence until they do a few things and it works, and it builds, it builds your confidence. I'll get into overconfidence in a minute. But the question is, what happens when you lose your confidence? And what are the causes that contribute to us losing our confidence at times, right? Well, y'all, no, I'm just, <laughs> but, Losing confidence typically comes from a series of failures, failed attempts at something. You've been trying to do something for a while and, okay, boom, that didn't work. You try to do it again, ah, that didn't work. You know what, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go into this field. I'm going to try this. Ah, that didn't work. You know, and over time, as is the case with anything, you know, anything, it wears on you over time. So, a few misses, you start to doubt. The doubt kicks in like, man, can I really do this? Like, man, this is, nothing seems to be working. Maybe I'm not as, um, maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was, right? So, you have that doubt. And that starts to chip away at your confidence. And if you're not careful, it could turn you into a different person. It could, it could take whatever your goal is in life, whatever your dream is in life, it could slowly start to squash it and mash it out of existence. And that's not what you want to do. Picture a dude playing baseball and... He's coming to the plate, and he at the plate. He just he he knows, like you know. You see that look in his eyes. He like I'm I'm getting ready to knock the the cover off this baseball, and he strikes out. Well, that first strikeout, it won't mess his confidence up. He'll come back the next time. He's still. But if he goes into what's called a hitting slump, where man, this dude ain't got a hit in five games. This dude done struck out. 16 times in the last five games and can't get on base, then doubt and lack of confidence might start to creep into his mind. Now he starts pressing a little bit. He starts to feel the pressure mountain. So now he's swinging at anything. He's getting desperate. He's trying his best to, to make some. I gotta, man, I gotta get a hit. Mm -mm, you don't do that. If you have a formula, a technique that you 
stood on and believed in and it's not working, you stay on your technique, your formula, you may have to adjust it because you don't want to keep doing it the same way and it's clearly not being effective, but you have to go back to the drawing board and adjust and adjust and adjust, but never lose the belief that you can get it done. Just figure out how you got to do it. Everybody's path is different. But once you lose that belief, you out of there. You can't score if you don't shoot. You can't get gun shy. And now I don't even want to try nothing no more. I'm scared to even try something now because the last five things I, I put my foot in, it didn't work. Nope. You keep going. Because the human mind, God created your mind to be infinite in terms of possibility, in terms of information that it can contain, and in terms of the potential that you can reach as a human being. We are the ones who cut off that potential. We are the ones who abort our own dreams and goals and reach a point where we just give up. That's on us. We got the tools already. We have all the, we equipped with all the tools. So if we lose our confidence and don't get what we're trying to get to, I just hate to say it like this, it's really our own fault. It's nobody to blame but us. Because a person can hold you back from this thing or that thing in certain situations, but nobody can hold and control what's going on in your head and your ability to work through a problem. So don't ever lose your confidence. I don't care how many times you struck out. Don't ever lose your confidence. Always come back to the plate feeling like this going to be the one where I hit the home run. But don't get over cocky either at times. Sometimes people have the tendency to not be what they might think they are. And then they get caught in overconfidence and you end up making a fool out of yourself. So be careful with that as well. You know, you gotta know who you are and know your level and know that there are levels and you should be all right. All right, man, this your big brother, K. We ain't know. What I want y'all to do right now, man, go to the Underground Dialogue podcast and um, go check out the ESG interview that we did. Shout out to the brother ESG, my brother from 30 plus. And um, go subscribe to the channel. Y'all go do that right now. All right, peace.